here's a collection of actual crimes committed by really dumb criminals. Just sit back and enjoy the insanity as we present. Stupid crime stories, you just won't believe. In 2011, an 11-year-old boy in Ohio got the shock of his life. He and his mother were returning home during the holiday. The mother went to a neighbor's house while her son went home. When he went inside, he could hear the television playing very loudly. He then saw a strange man lying on the couch. The startled child then called his mother. She then called 911 and frantically screamed for her neighbors. Thankfully, the child did not appear to be in any danger. According to the mother, the man was actually very polite to the child. He even apologized for scaring the boy and said he would get his things and leave. Apparently the man had moved into the home while they were away. He lit candles in different rooms of the house. He even put up Christmas decorations, including a wreath on the garage door. Police suspected the man was high on drugs. When they searched him, they only found a pocket knife. They then arrested 44-year-old Terry Trent without incident. According to police, Trent has a history of drug arrests. He was charged with burglary and taken to the Montgomery County Jail. In 2011, UK police had received an anonymous call reporting a disturbance. When they arrived on the scene, a man told them that he had been assaulted and robbed. He said that his home had been raided by a gang of four men armed with guns. When officers asked what was taken, the man said that the thieves had stolen his cannabis plants. Police then suspected that there may be some production taking place and obtained a warrant. During the search, they found 20 cannabis plants, cannabis seedlings and growing equipment. The drugs were potentially worth about $3,000. The seedlings had an estimated value of $1,000. The man admitted owning the equipment and said the drugs were grown to feed his habit. He also made it clear that he would continue to smoke the drug. One has to wonder if this guy was smoking cannabis before he made these statements. When he went to court, his lawyer argued that at least his client was honest. He said that the cannabis has assisted him in his mental and physical health. However, the lawyer said that he regrets his client's position to continue using it. Well, once the man claimed that he would continue smoking the cannabis, the judge said she had no other option. She then sentenced 34-year-old David Williamson to 10 months in jail. In 2019, police in Bunnell, Florida were responding to an incident at about 2.45 a.m. During the call, they noticed a man wearing a shirt and swimming trunks. He was waving for them to come see him. Thinking he had a problem, Officers approached the man to see what was going on. As they got closer, they could see that he was also smoking marijuana. In the state of Florida, purchasing medical marijuana is legal if you have authorization. However, it is still against the law to grow it in Florida. They then asked the man if he had a marijuana card. He simply replied, Yeah, I do, I am working on it. The man even takes the time to show them his nearly two-foot-tall marijuana plant. He tells them that he went to California to learn how to grow it. If that wasn't crazy enough, he then does the unthinkable. He literally invites the officers to come inside and smoke some marijuana with him. This is one of those stories you really have to see to appreciate. Here is a portion of the police footage. It's pretty dark, but it will be very obvious what's taking place. Do you have a, uh, a marijuana card? Or... Uh, yeah, yeah, I do. I'm working on it. I have the card. <laughs> Come on, guys, please okay. talk. Is that your plant, though? Yeah. Did you grow it? I did. Because you got to smoke a bowl with me, please. Uh -huh. Well, I can't. I know, you're on duty. Where are you going? I'm up to get my pipe. <laughs> Once inside his house, police could see clear signs that the man was engaging in the production of marijuana. They then arrested 65 year old Arthur Carasino on charges of producing marijuana. And after he's placed in the patrol car, here is what he had to say. Okay, I need a, okay. a couple of Starbucks. Anywhere local we can get one? We can, unfortunately. Uh, okay. All right, but you are be no, stay out, dog. You are being placed under arrest for okay, for growing marijuana. Okay. Okay. That's that's against the law in Florida. Yeah. Carasino was sent to the Flagler County Jail. His bond was listed at one thousand five hundred dollars.
In 2016, a man in Billings, Montana was enjoying a Sunday night out at a bar with friends. At some point, he runs into a girl he hadn't seen in years. The two decided to go to the tap-in bar. It's now about 1.15 a.m. on a Monday and the man is pretty much drunk. But the pair are really enjoying the moment together. In fact, they were enjoying the moment so much that they can be seen making out while sitting at the bar. As far as these two were concerned, nothing else matters. They probably wouldn't stop even if there was an armed robbery in progress. Well as you will see, that's exactly what is going on. Three armed robbers stormed into the bar and robbed the establishment. But it's the couple's lack of a reaction that had people talking. As you can see on the surveillance video, they seem totally oblivious to the gunmen who storm in. They continue kissing during the entire ordeal. Meanwhile you can clearly see other customers holding their hands up as another masked suspect points a gun at them. It's not until the thieves leave the bar that the couple stops making out and looks around as the bartender hits the alarm. Once the video went viral, some people suspected the couple may have been in on the robbery. After all, who continues making out during an obvious armed robbery? And why did the robbers appear to ignore them while everyone else has their hands up? Well in a later interview, the man explained their actions. The gal that I knew from way back in the day, we decided to go to tap in and I was definitely into her and definitely inebriated. He looked right at me and I looked right at him and he said, oh we're getting robbed. And the gal I was with, she kind of like buried her face in the side of my neck. She was super scared. She's like, what do I do? I was like, I don't know, just don't make any sudden moves, don't do anything crazy. They didn't say a word. No one even screamed, it was just super quiet. I mean, it happened like really fast. He took my phone and the change that I left on the bar. The lookout gal was the one standing by the door, she was the woman. I'm like, well, this is gonna get crazy really quick. The very next morning, my buddy called me and he said, you know you're on you're on video at the tap in. I said, well, how do you know? He's like, well, dude, you're at the tap in every weekend. He's like, dude, it's your gray hat, and you're, you know, it's just you. But people also noted that, in the video, the man can be seen hiding his face during the robbery. They cite this as proof that he and his partner were working with the robbers as a distraction. Here is what he had to say about those claims. People like drama. Honestly, I don't remember really doing that. It was just probably a reaction at the time. Like, oh my gosh, we're getting robbed. We're still good friends. And we laugh about it. We're a little inside joke. I'd like to not think of myself as a tap-in smoocher, but it's still kind of funny. I look back and I think it could have definitely been worse. It probably scares me more now because I probably should have been paying more attention. Police were still looking for the suspects described only as two males and one female. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Our weekly videos will feature such topics as stupid crime stories, classic TV, and the real stories behind popular songs from the past and present. There will be even more categories as we continue to grow.